Just a robot. It's pretty easy to debunk a feminist argument, mostly because they don't use proof or evidence to back their statements up. I, on the other hand, use evidence to back my arguments up. But here's the thing, your argument sucks. Then you should have no trouble debunking it. Let's start with the most basic shutdown against feminism. Feminism is sexist. I don't just say feminism is sexist, I also show it. It's just a white fucking privileged racist fucking male that doesn't stand for women's rights. Get the fuck out of here you. Fuck dipshit. And get that camera out of my face either. And there's a lot more proof where that came from. You've come to this conclusion because you've been taught that sexism is basically the prejudice, stereotyping, and discrimination on the basis of sex. Right. Before I even get into this, I just want to state that it's impossible for the oppressor to be the oppressed. Impossible, you say? Hey, yo, who she was talking to? You talking crazy? He fought her. They jumping it. Stupid ass. Bitch. Wrong hood, bitch. Wrong hood, bitch. Wrong hood, bitch. Wrong hood. But who cares? They're not white guys, so they're not oppressing her. Oh, no, wait. That's stupid. If you hate someone based on their race, you're racist. If you hate someone based on their sex, you're sexist, plain and simple. And if you're going to say sexism is oppression plus power, then you should know that feminists have more power than MRAs and MGTOWs combined. Being offended by something is not the same as being oppressed by something. Correct. Feminists are offended, not oppressed. So bearing that in mind, quite simply, sexism is a form of oppression. I am not saying that men don't face negative stereotyping, and I am not saying that men don't face prejudice and oppression in society. So, which is it? Can men be oppressed, or can they not? That it's impossible for the oppressor to be the oppressed. I'm not saying that men don't face prejudice and oppression in society. Quit contradicting yourself! Here's how your argument wouldn't have sucked. If you're discussing sexism within feminism, it should be about how some parts of feminism could actually be really problematic for trans people, as well as people who don't assign to any gender and people who are gender fluid. So what you're saying is, my argument sucks unless I say what you want me to say. No thank you, I would rather think for myself. Also, it has been my experience that trans people hate it when you speak for them. A lot of mainstream feminism at the moment needs to work a lot harder on being more inclusive. True that! True that! But men can get raped too. I can't stand this argument. You have to be a certain level of horrible to pit victims against each other, whatever gender. They're not pitting victims against each other. They're saying it's not a gender exclusive thing. If someone is saying that women are raped and this is a problem for women, then it's perfectly reasonable to say, men also get raped. Also, I find that people use this argument a lot when discussing rape culture and actually they don't quite know what the discussion is about. There's no such thing as rape culture, and I'll get back to this point later on. I want to handle this the right way because feminism supports all victims of rape. Then why do we never see feminists talk about men being raped? In fact, men are actually raped more often than women, if you're including prison rape. Rape culture is when you ask victims what they were wearing. Were they flirting beforehand? Asking if they possibly had too much to drink. The only type of people I have ever seen ask that type of question are police officers. Here's how your argument wouldn't suck. Every single rape prevention tip is geared towards people being in charge of not getting raped. Not teaching rapists not to rape. Rapists already know rape is bad. They just don't care. If it was that simple, then we should also teach thieves not to steal. The other problem in that is that most of these tips are aimed at women. With colour changing nail varnish, for example. There needs to be more done to prevent rape for everybody, such as those glasses that change colour when they detect a substance. That way everyone can be safe. That is definitely easier said than done. Also, isn't telling people to buy a rape detector pretty much the same thing as teaching them not to get raped? Well, that's just my opinion. Before any argument, you're going to have to show that you know what you're talking about before your opinion is valid. I can tell you that I think socks have emotions. That's just my opinion. It doesn't make it true. That's why it's called an opinion, not a fact. I think you're getting the two mixed up. I am so sick hearing about feminism. Shocker, so are we. Please help us not have to talk about this all the time. You're the only ones talking about it. 
We're the ones debunking you and telling you to stop talking about it. There is no need for feminism in the first world. It is doing far more harm than good. Well, I'm a woman and I don't find that offensive. This is quite a hefty topic about internalized misogyny and that is a whole other video. Your argument sucks because you do not speak on behalf of all women. Neither do I. Neither does anybody. By internalized misogyny, you mean they're controlled by the Illuminati. Also, they said, I don't find that offensive. Emphasis on I. They're not saying they speak for all women. They're just saying they personally don't find it offensive. When you say this, you're choosing to ignore the negative ramifications that this particular thing might have on other women. You may even be overlooking the negative ramifications this could have on you. Either way, it's a really selfish argument. I can't tell you how to feel about things, that's up to you. So it's selfish not to be offended by every little thing? What? People who are offended by every little thing are some of the most entitled little brats in the world. Yeah, but what about men's rights? Men already have all the rights. No, they don't. And I'll prove it to you with this little video. What's going on guys? This is Mo CT. And this is Ak TV. Today we're with singer actress Yo Ying. Today we're doing the domestic violence experiment. I'm gonna be abusing him, he's gonna be abusing me, and we're gonna see who gets more attention. Why are you talking to that guy last night? I wasn't! Listen, don't talk to guns. Listen! Why are you talking? I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Yo, yo. What are you doing? Oh, chill, 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 chill. Yo, yo, you guys texting that girl again, huh? I wasn't huh? cheating at you. I saw that picture too. I wasn't, I wasn't cheating at you. I wasn't cheating on you. Serious? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on, bro. You don't do that shit to me. Also, men can be drafted while women can't. Women almost always get custody of the children while the man has to pay child support. And that's just a few of the privileges women have that men don't have. I think people use this argument a lot because it's hard to see just how something affects your life until you don't have it. I'm middle class and white. I come from extreme privilege and if it wasn't for people talking about it, I never would have thought about it. Because when you're privileged, you don't have to think about it. Well, if that's true, could you please acknowledge your woman privilege? Also, men's rights movements that are around now don't even care about men. That's what really pisses me off. Being fair, any movement that sets out to help people is a good thing, right? The problem is the men's rights movements do not support male victims of rape. They do not support male domestic abuse victims. They don't support trans men. Do you know who do support them? Feminists. That is the biggest load of bullshit I have ever heard. And that's saying a lot. A woman tried to set up an abused men's shelter. Guess what happened? Feminists got it shut down. Also, men's rights activists do care about men's rights. That's why they're called the men's rights activists. And if they don't support men, then prove it. Feminism is ruining movies slash series slash comics. This argument gets rolled out every time something gets launched with women in it, basically. What do you mean this argument gets rolled out a lot? I almost never hear people use this argument. The only time I hear people say this is when they take a male character and they change it to a female. Like when they made Thor a girl. Why is it totally fine to expect women to enjoy and relate to things that involve mainly men? But as soon as more than one woman comes on screen, we're taking over? You probably don't know what a chick flick is, do you? Here's how your argument wouldn't suck. Just injecting female characters into a film or a TV series and not spending the time developing their characters or even writing them not only ruins the movie and the TV show, but also puts a massive hindrance in women in the industry and it's crap. I just realized what you mean by your argument sucks. You think someone's argument sucks when they disagree with you. But when they agree with you, it's a good argument. Just how full of yourself are you? That means I can hit girls right. 
Don't hit anybody. Why do you want to hit people? Is it like really hard to live restraining yourself from hitting people all day? You're using this argument as a quick way to put feminists in their place. Who is arguing for hitting people? Give me names. I have never heard about this ever. The other thing is that you're already hitting us. In the UK alone, 1.4 million women and 700,000 men are suffering from domestic abuse. I don't know about the UK, but I do know that in the USA, men have the highest chance of facing physical assault. <laughs> not all men. If we're discussing something about men and it's not something that you have particularly done, then that's great. The reason why your argument sucks is because you have to understand that many men have done this. A majority even. Could you repeat that? But instead of saying men, say black people. If we're discussing something about blah, and it's not something that you have particularly done, then that's great. The reason why your argument sucks is because you have to understand that many black have done this. A majority even. It's like, if I don't say it, I'll pass out. See how it sounds? Kind of racist. It's always sucky to have to acknowledge that something that you're a part of has bad bits, but that's just life. Then can you acknowledge that feminism is bad? This argument gets used a lot when women do things to protect themselves and are a bit defensive. But I like it when women take self-defense classes. You, on the other hand, want to teach rapists not to rape. As we mentioned earlier, rape is up to us to stop. What do you mean by us? Do you mean feminism? Because if anyone's stopping rape, it's police officers. With all these arguments against feminism is that if you wanted to have a proper discussion about it, you would have googled it and done your research, but you didn't, which makes you an ass. You're the one who didn't do your research. You're the one making yourself look like an ass. I didn't mean to attack anyone in this video, I just wanted to show you just how ridiculous these arguments sound. And I know there's tons that I missed, uh, which means they'll probably end up in the comments, which means, much to your excitement, I will do another one of these. And once you do that, I'll make another video debunking you. But generally, you should just research things that you're talking about, and if you don't know anything about a subject, don't weigh in with your opinion. Look. Who's. Talking. Before I end the video, let's take a look at her description. Thanks for all the views, Maninist. Wow. If that doesn't scream attention horror, then I don't know what does. Also, two out of the three references she uses are links to everyday feminism. Of course you're going to find confirmation bias there. So I guess I just proven that my argument doesn't suck.